In this video, I'm going to show you how to work within Revit to build a timber frame structure. Uh, this structure is going to go on these caisson foundations that we constructed earlier. To give you a sense of something similar in terms of how the foundations work, um, there's this image showing these kind of cabins, and they're raised up on these concrete um, piers or caissons, and there is some uh, timber framing that is resting on those caissons. So we're going to build a structure that has a combination of the caissons, some girders, beams, and decking. So we're going to start with um, making a change to, to these concrete elements. Um, I'm holding down the control key and I'm selecting all nine of them. Just going to drop top of them to minus four. Okay, and this will give us some space in which to add these other structural members. Next thing that I'm going to do is bring in some components or some families. Um, so I'm going to insert load Autodesk family and I'll start over here. Um, the first thing that I'm going to bring in, I'm going to first search for timber, right? And I'm going to bring in a timber column. So I've selected that one and I'm going to click on load. There's a bunch of sizes in here and I'm going to look for one that's an eight by eight. And as you can see, its dimensions in plan are seven and a half by seven and a half, and I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go back to the Autodesk um, load Autodesk family, and I'm you know under the same timber selection here. I'm going to click on this one right here, which will act as a, a bunch of of beams, and I'm going to scroll down till I find an eight by 18. And then hold down control and select eight by 24. Okay, so we're gonna be working with an eight inch module. Now you may find if you do some preliminary calculations for how big these members are going to be that Maybe one of them, like the one in the center here, needs to be um, a larger one because it's taking more load and the, the ones around the perimeter are a little smaller. But sometimes when things are exposed and you want there to be a kind of consistency in the detail, you may go with the, the one that's the biggest in terms of its, its load requirements and just apply that to, the, to all the rest, which is what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to click on OK. Right. And those have been brought all in. And I'm going to actually bring in one more um, item from, from the, the Autodesk library. I'll type in dimension lumber and click on that and load. And this time I'm looking for a three by six. I hadn't brought that in before. That's going to be the decking that we use for this, this part of the project. Okay. One last thing I'll bring in, and I um, you'll find this link in the assignment um, information, but um, I'm on the Strong Tie, Simpson Strong Tie website, and I'm going to download um, on this page, you would scroll down. Till so you get to the downloads here, and I'm looking for one that is called APVB88. Um, this is the, the Revit download that I need right here. I'm going to click on that and download it to my computer. And then I'm going to go back to Revit and I will insert that component. Uh, instead of going to load Autodesk family, I'll just go to load family and I will browse to find that, um, that item. So the first thing that I'll bring in to the Revit um, 
workspace here is um, the columns. They're going to bear on these caissons that I've already brought in. Um, I'm going to make this part of the model like just a deck that's open to the sky. And this part here will just have the floor and a roof. So the size and the, the heights of some of the columns will be different. I'm gonna go to level one and I'll go over to this part of the model. I'm gonna go to structure and column. And you know, if you don't see it, um, you'll go to this pull down menu. We're looking for this eight by eight timber column. And I'm going to take a look here at what do I have for my dimensions. I'm going to go ahead and I see here, let's change some of these values. This one is going to be minus three feet. and a half inches. Okay, so it's going to sit just above the column or the, the concrete case on here. And then the top, the second click is going to be, in this case, three feet, four inches. Okay. So I'll go ahead and click once and click twice. Okay. I'm going to redo that. Um, go to structure, column, click on vertical column. Um, it was uh, preset to slanted column for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and place this here. And I've clicked on the grid intersection. And then I'm going to click on the column and make the revisions to it. So again, my base offset is going to be minus 3 feet, 10.5 inches. And the top offset is going to be three feet, four inches. And I'm going to apply that. All right, now let's have a look at it in 3D. And here we go. Um, something that's not quite right about that. Let's see here, level zero is minus three and 10. Let's take a look at it from the south elevation. Ah, okay. I want that. Um, this is something you want to do before you make the copies that we're going to do next. This should have a relationship to level zero. Or, excuse me, level one. Let's put both of them at level one with those same offsets. There we go. It's going to be a little gap above the case on there, and it should protrude above level one. And now what I'm going to do is make some copies of this, click on copy, and I'm going to snap. Let's see here. I'm going to go to level one, do this again, uh, copy, and I'll make my copies from by snapping to these grid endpoints. I'm going to make one more copy um, and place it the one above, but before I make the copies for the rest of them, I'm going to make a change. So as I mentioned, this one will be, um, a, you know, this will form a railing for a deck, but this one is going to go higher. So we want to bring it up to just below level two. So I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to change its top level to level two. And I'm going to make that top level offset minus 2.5 inches. Okay. Right now, let's take a look at it from the south elevation. And yes, it's going to go up just below level two. Okay. Now I'll make copies of that one. So I'm going to go back to level one, click on that column, copy, and then I'll copy these three.
from this endpoint to this endpoint. Take one more look at it in 3D. Do a little orbit so we can see how they look when they're not in alignment, like from that view. Okay, there we go. So these are a little bit taller than these front ones. 